wow, in a word. <laughs> Good afternoon, lovelies. Welcome back to Maverick Baking and welcome to a very, very fancy chocolate review. Today we are getting our teeth stuck into some truffles, but not just any truffles. We're talking about award-winning signature chocolate truffles from Willy's Cacao. Willy's Cacao is one of the leading UK brands in the craft chocolate market. They've been at it for years. They've been making tasty, textured, ethical, and all round great quality, lovingly made chocolate for years now. And they have been kind enough to gift me some of these signature truffles to taste and review for you lovely folks today. I recently ran a giveaway on some of my other social media platforms for truffles just like these ones. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and on TikTok if you haven't already, if you don't want to miss out on things like that. But just which tasty truffles are we getting our teeth stuck into today? We are going to be tasting their champagne truffles and their sea salted caramel truffles. When you order a box of these gorgeous signature truffles from the Willy's Cacao website, which I will link below in the pinned comment and in the description, you can even pick which kind of sleeve you want these to be wrapped in. So for example, if you wanted a kind of festival appropriate Easter one, you can. You can buy these as a thank you or a Christmas present for Mother's Day, Father's Day, for an anniversary, just as a general congratulations to someone else or to yourself. And the effort that craft chocolate companies like Willy's Cacao put into their products really makes every single penny worth it, in my opinion. Anyway, let's get into tasting the Willy's Cacao Signature Chocolate Truffles to see how they are. I'm going to start off with the champagne truffles, mostly just because I don't think I've ever seen a box of truffles this luxurious and large in my own hands. <laughs> so this is going to be a selection of pink milk and dark Marc de Champagne truffles, meaning that no matter who wants to get their fizz on, you can do so, whether you like it sweet, whether you like it dark, or whether you like it milky. Would you look at this? So we have this absolutely stunning selection of pink, dark, and milk chocolate truffles in here. Tell me you don't want to stick your entire head in this box and I'll call you a liar. <laughs> so we're expecting a kind of cocoa or sugar dusting on the outside, a crisp chocolate shell, and a nice kind of soft and gooey center. Shall we start with one of these pretty pink ones? Oh wow. You have this gorgeous kind of dusty exterior, which just immediately pings on your tongue. And when you get through that chocolate shell into that soft kind of filling, girl. <laughs> there's a kind of distinctive champagne tanginess. And I believe there's some raspberry in here as well, not only in kind of the coloring, but to add that beautiful kind of fruity, tangy flavor to the chocolate as well. Hopefully I can give you guys a delicious close up here but you can see that smooth chocolatey ganache in there just under that white chocolate shell with that kind of nice dusting on the outside. And while so many mass market chocolate truffles are just an assault of like sweetness upon sweetness with added vegetable fats and other kind of artificial stuff to mimic that proper chocolate texture, this is luxury. You can differentiate between the shell and that filling and above anything, it is smooth. Smooth and creamy, smooth and tangy. In this case, oh my word. That dark truffle just nails the champagne perfectly. The raspberry ones give you that lovely kind of sweet tanginess together that you get with that first taste of champagne. The milky ones admittedly are much more about that kind of creamy mellow flavor, but the dark ones, that slightly, slightly bitter and bold cocoa flavor that you get from the dark chocolate and the smooth ganache inside sort of pinches you on the tongue ever so cheekily with this like actual alcoholic kind of champagne flavor and tastes properly deliciously boozy but still in this beautifully kind of soft way. Nothing's too sugary, nothing's overwhelming. All the textures can be kind of nicely differentiated, even in the warm climate that I am in. And all of those flavors work so well together. You could have one of each of these flavors in your mouth at the same time, and it would still be an absolutely exquisite combination. <laughs> and there's not many chocolate boxes you could say that about. Balanced, luxurious, and overall satisfying. It feels luxurious to open, even if it's not a gift, even if you were just to purchase this for yourself, but even more so if you were buying this for a friend, a loved one, a family member. Pure luxury, pure luxury. And it's an absolute five out of five for me. 
Shall we move on to the other flavor of these gorgeous, hopefully gorgeous, <laughs> chocolate truffles that we will be tasting today from Willy's Cacao. So we have this in a kind of rectangular box and sleeve instead. So in here, we're going to have a 54% milk chocolate and some white chocolate sea salt caramel truffles. So slightly different from the bigger selection box we had earlier, this just has two different flavors of truffles in here, but is absolutely no less stunning than the first box. I think I'm going to get stuck into one of these milk chocolate sea salt caramel truffles first to see how it is. Oh, wow. That is how you do salted caramel. Let me just show you a close up of this white chocolate so you can get a perfect view. It's one of the very few salted caramel truffles I've ever tasted that actually has the right amount of salt. <laughs> Normally salted caramel, especially from big kind of mass produced chocolate brands, it's just a hyper sweet, fake caramel syrupy stuff with artificial flavorings and hardly anywhere near enough salt added. This with that kind of buttery burnt flavor from the actual caramel sauce and the amount of salt they put in there tastes almost savory in the most just addictive way. <laughs> with the white chocolate, it's a creamy dream. And with that milk chocolate, it's buttery, it's smoky almost, it's salty and sweet. And then you just get into this gorgeous dancing between milk and dark chocolate tasting cocoa slap in the mouth basically. <laughs> that is smooth and balanced while still being so bold. Wow, in a word. <laughs> balanced, smooth, textured, almost sweet and savory in one mouthful and so special feeling and tasting. It's an absolute five out of five for me. As I said before, there will be a link to Willy's Cacao in the description box and in the pinned comment below. Do check them out if you get the chance, guys, because not only does their chocolate feel special, but it feels as chocolate should. You can tell they're making this stuff with love. If you guys have tasted chocolate from Willy's Cacao before, do let me know in the comments. I would love to know your thoughts or if you've seen them in any local stores and can't wait to get your hands on them. But in the meantime, that is all I have time for today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching as always. It always means a lot and I'll see you for the next one.